Today we have a new story called The Story of Sarge the Snake Master by Godzilla One. Sarge was a happy child living a good life with his mom, dad, and brother Falcon. Uh oh. One day he was trying to move a stuck object, but then Artemis and her archers arrived. Sarge tried to run to his house, but he couldn't outrun the arrows, ladies and gentlemen. Sarge, the snake master, is a sibling of the evil Valken. That like that evil god thing, Valken. We never quite established what Valken is. All we know that Valken is a bad guy. And Sarge, the snake master, is also a bad guy. Let's take a look. We have what looks like a lovely lady and a Mr. Farmer. And there seems to be a hobbit up here. But I don't see any other child. If you remember, it was said that Valken and Sarge were brothers. So are these the parents of Valken and Sarge? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I understand, I understand. So this is Valken the child with mom and dad. And over here is Sarge trying to move a stuck object from beneath the boulder. But here comes the quote unquote evil Artemis. Even though we know Artemis is a goddess of good, she's coming to uh, have a little conversation with Sarge. Um, what did Sarge do to Artemis? I mean, Sarge is technically a child at this point in the story. I don't understand. Also, and, and Sarge is now being bombarded with arrows. And, and okay, goodbye, Sarge. That's a really awkward. Also, if you think about it logically, since Sarge is blue and they're red and the rest of the family is red, that means the rest of the family wanted to kill Sarge. That's awkward. Artemis decided to take Sarge in her pack of archers when he grew older. His new mom decided to train him, and he was supposed to hunt down a raptor, but he was so bad at aiming that he failed. So Artemis didn't kill Sarge. Artemis decided, you know what, little boy, you're not my little boy. And little boy is like, I don't want to be your little boy, but Artemis is like, no, 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 little boy, you understand you're not my little boy? Because I say you're my little boy? You're coming with me, little boy. Yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's an awkward way of doing things. But here is Sarge now, a little bit older. He's an archer. It's a regular old, every single day archer. Got a quiver on his hip. I would put the quiver on my back. That's kind of guy. I'm, I'm like, quiver on the back, leg last out. Because that's the sound effect you make. <laughs> when you shoot an arrow. I don't know what's going on, but we have a, a raptor, apparently, as part of his test. His test into archerhood. Archerdom? Archerness? I don't know how to call it. Regardless, the raptor, the r -r raptor, is ready to move in on our lovely archer friend onto Sarge the snake archer, who's not a snake archer, but a regular archer. And jeez, the headbutts of doom. This raptor looks so happy to be headbutting poor Sarge. Uh, you poor archer. Every time the pack was out hunting, he could never quite keep up with the rest. Every time they found an animal, it was dead before Sarge was even there. So here is the pack. We have Artemis and all sorts of archers. You've got the ice archer, you've got the balloon archer, You've got the Firework Archer, and you've got the Skeleton Fire Archer, as well as Artemis. And apparently, little Sarge can't quite keep up. These archers are so much better than Sarge. As you can see, off they go. They're now hunting this mammoth. So they go from hunting a small child to hunting a mammoth. What is wrong with these people? What is wrong with these people? Oh, and look, there's Sarge in the back. Sarge can't quite keep up. He didn't even get a shot off, and he looks so sad. He's so sad because he's useless. Guys, he's useless. And this is why he's going to turn evil. Because he's useless. In the end, Sarge was so bad that he got kicked out of the pack. He wandered to a nearby forest where he met two strange people. One was named Slither and the other was named Wither. So if those aren't snake archer names, I don't know what they are. So here we have Mr. Sarge, who's not yet a snake archer, but I get the feeling that Slither and Wither are going to teach him the snake archer ways. And over here, you've got Slither and Wither. I'm thinking Slither's one on the left with the big eyes. Great big surprised eyes. And then over here, you have Wither, who's looking kind of curious. His head tilted to the side like, yo, hey, what's up? How you doing? Clearly, these are snake archers um, on account of the snakes as arrows. That's a thing. And Slither and Wither are going to teach him the snake archer's ways by um, firing snakes at him and, and poisoning him with poisonous snakes. Because when you want to teach a future protege, a future protege that you haven't even give, been given permission to teach yet, like this is their first meeting. This is the first time they're even talking to each other. And little Sarge over here doesn't know who's shooting at him. And he's thinking to himself, why are you shooting snakes at me? Who shoots snakes? The two twins took Sarge to a special place where their mother had died. But they were attacked by ancient guards because they weren't allowed on the property. There. 
Sarge noticed how even though you missed the snakes, are still deadly. Ladies and gentlemen, Sarge is going to learn very quickly, like that the story just told you, that even if you miss your snake shot, the snake can still kill because it's a snake. You're not shooting an arrow, you're shooting a living, breathing snake. Also, physics question, snakes are not stiff. Snakes are not firm. You need a stiff arrow to fire because of physics and, and, and velocity and mass acceleration, all that jazz. So uh, how do you fire a snake of which is not stiff out of your arrow? Or are these magical bows? Are the little tongues on these bows making it? Is it magical? Is it a stiff snake until it reaches the ground and then boom, becomes a magical breathing living snake? I think we're, we're just going to... Ma you know, guys, magic will explain it. If if all else fails, a wizard did it as my explanation. So we have six Cerises coming in on our archer friends. Um, one of our snake archers fell. He slid down. He's sliding down the stairs. Dude, it's not tobogganing time. You don't belly slide downstairs. Oh, oh, the snakes did a thing. Sarge soon got obsessed with snakes and decided to craft his very own snake bow. He decided to test it on a young person named Larry. What? Yo, Sarge. Yo. Yo, of all the 7 billion people, yo, 1,500 billion people in the world of tabs, you decide to shoot on my boy Larry. And the worst part is, Larry is blue. And by the by the rules, the rules of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, Larry must die. Because red is winners. And blue, well, they're losers. Here we go. The snake bow taking a shot at Larry. It's a snake! <laughs> And Larry confuses himself with his own potion, throwing a potion at the snake archer. And there's no other snake here. <laughs> Guys, we might... Oh, oh God, they're both drunk. We might need to step in here and stop Larry from uh, defeating the snake archer. So I'm just gonna grab my harpoon and be like... Oi, Larry. No, 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 no. You come this way. You come this way. Just chill out. You chill out here, Larry. Usually I'm on your side, but... Oh, God. Stop. 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 It. Larry, just chill out right here. Can you just chill? Let the snakes... Go for a little nap. Wow, he's just... He's having a hard time with two harpoons poking out of his back. And he just kicked his own feet out. Uh, Mr. Sarge, Snake Archer, could you just fire one snake? Larry's literally taking a nap right now. There you go. Get a snake in there. Yeah! Wow, that's a way too long. After testing the weapon, Sarge went back to his friends, who had found a squire walking around in the woods. He and his friends decided to shoot the squire, whose name was Crow. So this is a long time ago before we acquired our god powers. He has Sarge and his friends here aiming at little Squire Crow. This is before Crow became a knight. This is just little Squire Crow. And now Crow is unable to fight off the snakes and was struck down with a vicious snake blow. A vicious snake blow. Yep, that, that's a sentence. After a lot of adventures with his two friends, they finally arrive on a small island with some hostile locals led by a clubber named Vlad. Hold on a second. Is this the creation of Vlad? Is this like a little Vlad before Vlad becomes an impaler? Is this like, is this Vlad's giant log before it becomes a giant log? So he starts off with a little short club and then eventually works his way up to a giant pointy log. Vlad the Clubber with archers. Oh, <gasps> oh, Sarge, you were not powerful enough to take on Vlad, the future Impaler. Not Impaler right now, the future Impaler. They were captured by the locals, but Sarge somehow got them on his side. Then Sarge realized that he was the one snake master and that his friends were only obstacles. He then told Vlad that his friends had stolen some coconuts from the tribe and they were killed. Wow, Sarge is a two-timing, backstabbing jerk. Now he's best friends with Vlad, the future Impaler and his previous friends, who he has gone on many adventure with, are now about to be executed by the uh, the local tribes folk. Because, wow, wow, wow. Actually, oh, that was not cool. Two spears in the side. Oh. After killing his friends, Sarge took Vlad to the mainland, where he convinced him to be his apprentice. But Vlad's men didn't like that idea. So now, Sarge has betrayed his men for Vlad, and Vlad has betrayed his men for Sarge. We have a terrible union of two forces of evil. And they are now about to be attacked by uh, the Vla Vlad's uh, tribe. That's very not happy tribe. They're so unhappy that they're wearing skulls on their head because nothing screams, I don't, I'm not happy. I'm wearing a skull on your head. In they move, going after, oh, the snake. 
Oh, the snake. Oh, the snake just took out pretty much the entire tribe. The tribe of three, because three people totally equal tribe. Vlad the Clubber. Can Vlad the Clubber take down the other two tribes, folks? There's some shield bashing going on. Just, just, he's down. How long is that? Oh, the club into the back of the legs. Ouch. That's gonna hurt. Sarge decided to take Vlad on a small raid against Larry again, but now Larry had Crow on his side, and Sarge was defeated immediately, ladies and gentlemen. This is now more towards the present. You have Larry, you have Helga, and they are happy as always in their adorable little village. And things are going fantastic. And over there in the distance, you have Sarge and future Vlad, who's not quite yet the Impaler. He's just Vlad the Clubber. Now, Sarge was defeated immediately was the description from the story. So we need an immediate destruction here, an immediate killing so to make sure that it is rather immediate, you have uh, fireballs. We have some fireball going into the ankles of these people. You have arrows of light going into the torsos and then spears of Odin going into their, their, their upper torsos because I like overkill in three, two, one. Activate slow-mo and <laughs> you can barely even see anything from inside of there. Sarge soon went into hiding from the world, planning to destroy everything. He trained Vlad to take over the world. He had heard stories of his brother, Vulcan, and was now driven by hate and nothing more. So he sent Vlad on his great mission, but they were found by Artemis and her pack. And Sarge had wanted to kill them for a long time. Let's take a look. We have Vlad, who is now Vlad the Impaler. He's a full-grown Vlad with a full-grown Vlad mustache. I mean, no other unit in the game has a mustache of this caliber. Vlad is now wielding a full club. Uh, a full club as in a literal tree trunk sharpened at the end by a sword because why not you've got some ballistas and some hoplites and there is sarge the snake master ready to fire his magical snake arrows at a distance at artemis and her troop of archers again you've got the firework archer the skeleton archer the ice archer and the balloon archer and artemis herself all here to take on our units there was only one problem ladies and gentlemen Vlad and Sarge, the quote-unquote bad guys, they're in red. And as we all know, red is winner and blue is loser. So Artemis, who's on the side of good and her troop of five are on the side of good. You're destined to lose today because the totally accurate battle simulator color-coordinated gods have decided that is so. Oh, ballistas are firing on the archers, taking them down. Vlad has been killed. There is another hoplite has been killed. Oh, 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 Artemis just got destroyed by that ballista that was disgusting. All we have left is a balloon archer and Sarge's snake deals the final blow, destroying the balloon archer. That is the end of the story of Sarge, the snake master for now.